This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by the University of Hawaii Maui College. One Maui Nui, one Maui College. Aloha and welcome to another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by the University of Hawaii Maui College right here at the beautiful Fairmont Keolani. Look at that view. We have a very special guest on our show today. We've been trying to get her on for years. Napua Silva will be joining us. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea. We're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Napua Silva. Aloha, Lana. I, I know some people are watching right now going, you're saying her last name totally wrong. Yeah. But you wanted to be part of the Portuguese nation. That's yes, why. I've been waiting <laughs> all my life. Growing up up country Maui, yes. I'm like, I want to belong. Are you a little but, bit of country? Oh, I'm a lot of country. You're a lot of yeah, country? Yeah, a lot of country. How many cowboy boots do you own? Mm, five. Oh, your country. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We've been Thank trying you. to get you, but you're so busy. This is my people dream. People have been turning us down left and right, and now ah, you're here. Yeah. yeah, I'm so happy. I'm yeah. so excited. Are you cooking a lot at home? I, I cook a lot. Yeah. And at home, on the road, wherever yeah. we go, I love to cook. What's your favorite dish to cook? The beef stew I'm making today is probably one of my favorites and everybody's favorite. Uh -huh. um, when we go on tour in Japan, I believe it or not, I pack all this stuff to cook on the road. That's so funny. You go to Japan a lot. Uh, once a month. Yeah, so when you're there for a month. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, miss home stuff. Yeah. Well, I have a, another option for you too now. I have a restaurant in Tokyo, Aloha Plate. So whenever Whoa. you like eat rice with gravy. And beef stew. And beef stew. Maybe and we it, should get your beef stew on the menu. Maybe, That's what yeah, we should talk about. Yeah. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. What do we need today? We first need to cut our meat. Okay. And that's part know. of the secret to yes. Auntie Hulu's beef stew. Okay, I'm going to get you. That's one thing that people, I think, people go like, what's, like, what makes your mom's beef stew so good? I bet you're using short rib. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I nailed it. You don't, you never, never, never use yeah. stew meat. You know, one of the best uh, beef stews, and I can't wait to try this one because they use short rib as well, uh -huh. is Young's Fish Market oh, yeah. on Oahu. They've been doing it for over, ni ni almost 80 years. Yeah. Yeah, 80 years I think they've been doing. Yeah, that's what my mom taught us. You use the boneless yes. short ribs with the most fat on it. There you go. Can okay. I put this in the pot? Do you need this in the pot? Yeah, we're going to put the meat in okay, first because we're just going to cover the Let meat. Let me turn this on for you because I don't think we turn on, turned on the heat yet. We're and how, gonna... how old were you the first time that you can remember <laughs> that your mom uh, made this uh, beef stew? Oh, she's been making it since before I was born, I'm sure. Really? Yeah, because yeah. this is just the meal that, you know, when I went away for school at Kamehameha, uh -huh. we would come home, she'd say, what do you want to eat? We all want to eat beef stew. Yeah, it's comfort, isn't it? Yeah, even it makes, my kids. It makes you feel like you're at home. Oh, yes, wherever we are. I posted uh, something on my Instagram the other day about my mom and, and uh, one of my, oh, a couple of my friends uh -huh. wrote comments about, oh man, I miss your mom. It's been so long since I had her beef stew. Oh, and your I mom never too. I never thought about it. Yeah. But when you make your mom's or your tutus or whoever, you can follow the recipe the same, but it doesn't come out the same. It's the love. Yeah. You know, you gotta, I thought about your show, like yeah. cooking Hawaiian style. Yeah. Like that's what cooking Hawaiian style is. You gotta yeah. cook with aloha. Plenty aloha. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. and so for the stew, that's what makes it oh no. You use the best meat. Right. You don't use the, the cheap meat, you right. use the best meat because it, you wanna give the people you love the best. That's, right? I like that. Funny, because people uh, sometimes will send me emails that say, oh, you guys not using gloves and you're touching the food, and I tell them, <laughs> we that's wash our hands the, the, and that's the aloha, it's coming, you know. Oh, what I mean? you're you know? getting all my personality. You some, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Sometimes, you, sometimes you don't wanna taste rubber, you know, yeah. inside your food. Uh, but anyway, I think it's uh, if you wash your hands and you that's yes. where a lot of the love comes from. Yes. So beef stew. Yes. Pretty simple. And the other thing that is key is what I'm going to add to this next is the pa'akai. Okay. And you that's know Josh Satofi's song? Yeah. Yes. 
is for my mom's beef stew. Really? Mm -hmm. What's the name of the song so everybody can look it up? Auntie Hulu's beef stew. Auntie Hulu's beef stew. Yep. Go and look so it up. He had to call me before. He's like, tell me what is the secret yeah. in her beef stew. And I told him, well, to me, the big difference, I watch everybody's, uh -huh. you know, I'm a stew connoisseur, right? <laughs> you, you, you know you do that. Yes, you go to course. the party, you're like, okay, it's not like my mom's, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, stew and squid luau. Oh, that's one of my favorite squid luau. But nobody can make it like your mom. Yes, right? nobody can. Interesting too, when you talk about beef stew in Hawaii, why do people so connected to it here? Because mm -hmm. you can go to, there's not too many Hawaiian restaurants left, but they'll always have beef stew, right? Mm -hmm. And I was told, uh, the missionaries when they came, they introduced it to us, but we didn't have tomato sauce. So Hawaiian style, Beef oh, stew like was poi. no tomato sauce, so yeah, yeah we yeah, would yeah, have yeah, the poi. poi stew. Yeah. Well, I still use poi as like a thickener. Yeah. You know. I love that. The other thing you gotta use that's really good is the paakai. So show, just hold it up so. to that camera. The paakai is Hawaiian salt. We have three different types. So I don't use Martins. Yes. Process. I, that's process. So yeah. you're using unprocessed. And actually, this is like just to show you like the best. Yeah. It's not even the paakai that you can buy from the store. This oh. is Kauai. Okay. Some of the best. We gotta take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Napua Silva hanging out with us, making her mom's beef stew. We'll be right back with more cooking Hawaiian style. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by the University of Hawaii Maui College. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We're here with Napua Silva. Uh, we got to say big mahalo once again to University of Hawaii Maui College and of course the Fairmont Keolani. Look at this view we got here to work so with. Huh? We love popping up our kitchens uh, all around Hawaii and of course Maui, one of the most beautiful places in the world. You guys got to come and visit because uh, they could use your help right now. We got the Hawaiian salt. Hawaiian salt from Hanalei. How much are you going to put in there? Oh, uh, you kind of eyeball it, <laughs> you know? It's you good. Eyeball go like is that. good. I eyeball. think one pinch if you... Uh, Small then, is about a tablespoon or and teaspoon. And you can always add a little yeah. after. Always add later now. If you put it yes. in too early, you cannot take out. Yeah, then you're, right. you're done. We're going to cut up some celery. So celery, see, I'm not a big celery fan. No? And, I love celery you and tuna. Need, you need to have it. Yeah. It has a flavor that you need to have. Yeah. So you're going to notice that I chop it super small. Uh -huh. I'm not a fan. It's, I told you I'm a beef stew connoisseur. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the big chunks of celery in the stew. Now you said earlier that you uh, bring this sometimes when you go on the road. You yep. travel a lot to Japan. Yes, yes. Tell everybody what you do in Japan. Well, I, I sing. I perform yes. in the concerts there. And I also have a halal. We opened our halal in Japan about five years ago. Aren't the Japanese incredible? Oh, so they respectful. Love, they love Hawaii. Love everything they love about Ula. Hawaii. Yeah. So yes. Yeah, so How long have you been going there? Oh, I've been going to Japan for about 25 years. 25 years. What's yeah. your favorite place to visit in, in Japan? I love Sapporo. Oh, what a beautiful mm -hmm. place, and especially during the summer. And the winter. It is, but yeah. I think everyone goes in the winter and they don't. Re they think it's cold all the time. Uh huh. In no, the no. summer, everything's blooming. Yeah. And the it's beer not. is ono, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's like 60 degrees every day. Like those beer gardens, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and what a beautiful country, though. And yeah. so you going up how often? So I'm up there now every two weeks. Okay, that's a lot. Yes, it is. But, you know, um, the students are so hungry to learn. Yeah. And, and just, there's, Japan is big. Yeah. So you can go every two weeks and still not teach the same people. Yeah. There's, uh, the last time I read, there was over a million hula dancers uh, in Japan. Mm -hmm. I really think we, they should create a bigger festival for the Japanese dancers here. Like a big, you know what I mean? Just uh -huh, let, uh -huh. them, let them dance. Because uh, they're so respectful and honoring of, mm -hmm, of what mm -hmm. we do here, you know? Well, it is super expensive. It is, I know. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, they have, I think they have more festivals there. They do. I, we I've, have ho here. I've hosted a few, and oh, that's yeah. why I always thought it'd be good here, just for our economy. Uh -huh, you know what uh -huh. I mean? Like we do the, what is it, the Great Aloha Run, mm -hmm, and these big, mm -hmm. and there's half of them are Japanese. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah, chopping onions isn't my favorite part. You know a good way to not cry? Put a piece right. of bread in your mouth. That's what I heard. Yeah, because it's this the uh, fumes. The fumes. Yeah, it's coming up to your nose. I heard like actually, I think. Okay. Cooking in this breeze. All right, we gotta hurry up. Okay. Yeah, sorry to rush you. <laughs> we gotta get everything in that pot. You're doing okay. half an onion? Yeah. 
Okay, and then how many carrots? The carrots go in later. Okay, so you're gonna put good. that in last so it doesn't get soggy? Yeah. All right, we got potatoes. So we're gonna add our water. There's your water. So you just cover it with water. Okay. And when you say cover it, you want it right to the, everything's underneath? Yes. So make sure all your meat is right underneath because yeah. you're gonna simmer that for how long? For an hour. An hour. And then all the rest of the stuff goes in after, right? Yes. So after, after the, the hour? hour, yes. Okay. After the hour, you're gonna add the carrots okay. here, and you just kind of—I don't like big, um, big, big pieces. Pieces. Well, <laughs> in in my eyes, these are big pieces. Even your uh, your beef was big pieces. Oh yeah, the beef are I, like big. I know it's gonna shrink, <laughs> but uh, good for you though. You know, I, I like I'm getting old and I can digest. Yeah, so I yeah, gotta you got to chew, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But chew I, well, But chew I have well. a feeling this is going to be super soft, so you're going to be in the clear yes, on this one. Yes, yes, yeah. super soft. Okay. So we, we're going to cut We those. have a minute to get everything in the pot. What do we have here, Napur? That is the tomato soup. Tomato soup, and then we have canned tomato. We're also going to add stew tomatoes. Stew tomatoes. To the boiling, okay. to the boiling. So the stew tomatoes boil okay. with everything else. So I think this is the steps that are important because I usually throw everything in the pot and let everything dance together. But, but you're then doing the potatoes steps. disappear, right? I kind of like them like that. Yeah, yeah. But it depends. As to the thick mood. thickening, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. True, true. But you know Kehao Tamure? Yes. Yeah, see, I used the to... The, she's a singer with Napalapalai. Yes, yes, yes. So I used to do that, and she started to call my potatoes magic potatoes <laughs> because they disappear. All right, let's get so, all those in the pot. When we okay. come back, what are you going to make? So we come back, we're making my favorite ceviche. All right, don't go anywhere. Napua is hanging out with us today. Uh, ceviche is next. It's cooking Hawaiian style. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by... Fairmont Kealani and Hawaiian Air Cargo. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We have Napua Silva here. We're making her mom's famous beef stew. We're finishing it We're up. We're going to throw the last things in there yep. and then you're going to put a lid on it, right? So normally we boil the meat, onions, celery, and stewed tomatoes for an hour with the pa'akai. Uh -huh. We've After an hour, we add the potatoes. We okay. just did that. We add the carrots. We did that. And to finish it up, we're just going to add in this tomato soup. Okay, what do you think? One can? Half a can? One can. One can. For so, this size pot, So the trick can. to this is the layering that you're doing after the boil, and then you do the everything else after. Yes. Yes. Most people put everything in the pot. I get it, what she's doing here. That's we awesome. Have, it's a, it's a, and then this is diced tomato. Diced tomato. And you put stewing tomatoes, the first one. Yes. So you need stewing tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and then, of course, you need the tomato soup. So three yes. different kinds. Okay, you put that over there. We're going to put the full recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com, okay? And then this next dish that you're going to do tell everybody what you're making this is my favorite one of my favorite poopoos my house is a gathering house and yeah. so we we like to you know talk stories play music so i'm going to make ceviche okay can i move any of this out of the way into this bowl we're, you want to put the gonna, tomato we can put it up here okay. for now so the trick of ceviche, actually actually we're going to put it here so that so they can see what you're doing got it okay, okay. no you worries want, can i move this out of your way we can. All right. You can. So they can see what you're doing. Okay. So the, we're gonna use this is ono. Ono. We're gonna use ono and shrimp. By the way, if you're watching in uh, Indiana, ono is delicious. <laughs> it's one of our favorite fish to use. White fish, any yeah. white fish. So you can use mahi mahi. You know, some people don't like fish. Yeah. And so maybe don't use fish. Or just use shrimp. So we use mahi ma. So this is ono, and then I'm gonna use shrimp. So you just cube that. Okay, let me take this off for I'm gonna you. Cube it. Looks good. You know, What's ceviche your... normally pairs with tortilla chips. Yes. So, you know, so when you're cutting, you just want to make sure that what you're cutting can fit on right. a chip. You know what I really like you know? ceviche with? Taro chips. Ooh, yeah. It's like one of my and and uala chips too. Ooh, like yeah. Like sweet potato chips. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you guys have to try that. What's your favorite meal in Japan? Sushi. Yeah. Oh, I love sushi. Do you sushi. have your same spot or do yep. you go to Skiji and go all over? No, no, no? Midori Sushi. Midori, and where's mm -hmm. that? There's one in the Ginza. 
Okay. There's one in Shinjuku. I'm staying in uh, Ginza next week. Oh yeah. I when we got to try to figure out when we're there at the same time. Yes. But I want to bring you to my favorite spot, and you can bring me to yours. Okay. My treat. Okay. My favorite spot is a stand-up sushi spot. Oh. And they only fits maybe 12 people. We'll put. So go we're ahead. gonna we're gonna marinate this. I marinate it usually overnight. You okay. marinate it in lime juice. Okay. Okay. Now, after you marinate it in lime juice, you're gonna strain the old juice. Put that out. right here. Okay. Okay. So you don't wanna leave the old juice in. Okay. So after the after the marinade overnight, you're yes. gonna take that out. Take that out, and okay. you're gonna add fresh lime juice. That's to a great your way to do it. So you're doing juice. lemon and lime. Yeah. You ever try with calamansi? Oh no, calamansi must be good. You should try that. I love calamansi. And let me know how it is. And we'll bring you back on. You can cook that one or make that one. <laughs> yeah, so we have a spoon. Yes, of course. Anything you so need, just, just tell me what you need. That. Okay. You can leave it in your fridge, you know, just kind of make sure it all gets okay. the lime juice on it. And so we have some pre marinated okay. shrimp and ono here. And so to that, we're gonna chop cucumber. All right, you're just using a regular cu cucumber, yep. Japanese cucumber? No, it's a regular, regular cucumber, but we peeled it because I don't like peel okay. on anything. Yeah. That's the way to do it. I'm kind of particular. What's your favorite restaurant on Maui? <laughs> Ooh, on Maui. You can give me your top three. Tiffany's. Oh, because it's owned by Chef, Chef, Se Chef Sheldon, Sheldon Simeon. You're, you're winning, Chef Sheldon. Every uh, Maui chef has put him in the top three. Oh yeah. yeah, so we're gonna add this all to this. Okay. Cause this has already been strained. All right. Yeah. And so, when she says strained, she took out all the lemon the, juice that yes, was being marinated. That it marinated this it. right here. So everyone can see that. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna add the cucumber. Give us another restaurant that you like. Well, Maui, Sam Sato's. Oh, I love Sam Sato's. You know, Sam yes. Sato's, noodles. Everybody yes. goes for the noodles, yeah. but I'll tell you a secret. I go for the banana pancakes. Banana pancakes? And cheeseburger. Oh, that sounds mm -hmm. good. Together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Banana We're, pancakes we really, go everything. We really <laughs> want, when people come to Maui, you come to visit, you got to go visit these restaurants that she's mentioning because these are locally owned. Yes. We and these chefs are local. awesome. Yes. And our chefs are amazing. So many good chefs here. They're my heroes. When we come back, we're going to check on your beef stew. Okay. We're going to finish up this ceviche. And then we're gonna eat. Oh, yeah. That sound good My to favorite. You? Yeah. Well, it's pretty easy, right? We don't have to do anything else except add the rest. Yes, we're All gonna right. add the rest. Stick around, don't go anywhere. Napua is hanging out with us. It's cooking Hawaiian style. We'll be right back. Good job. This season of cooking Hawaiian style is brought to you by Wikiocast and Lanai's Travel Club. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Napua, we're gonna finish up this ceviche. Wrap Let's it up. go ahead and put we the have, rest of the things in there. We have our marinated shrimp and mahi, okay. chopped cucumbers. We have chopped tomato here. So, what did you do about a half a tomato? This is a whole. Whole tomato. A whole little okay. one. Okay, and then you have some. And then we have some chopped onion. Chopped onion, whole or half? A half. This half is of a half. Onion. Yeah. Okay, get this out of your and, way. You know, for, for ceviche, because you can taste the onion, you can use. Maui sweet onion okay. because we're like that. Uh -huh. And then we're going to put the lime juice. This is fresh lime yes. juice, the new lime juice, right? Okay. And how many do you think you're going to use for this well, size? I use like five limes. Okay. And then some cilantro. cilantro. And then we're going to mix this up. I'll mix it for you and then oh, you can yeah. do the you avocado. Mix it up. Okay. And then we're going to just slice the avocado. Now it depends if you like avocado, you don't like avocado. You don't like it, obviously. Don't add it. You I just, love avocado. I do too. You want to add it to this, or you want to put it on top? We're gonna add it to that, but we want to toss it good first, so we don't okay. smash our avocado. Yes. Yeah. Good tip. Yeah. That's a good tip. Mm -hmm. If I ever get sick, would you fill in for the show? I totally can fill in. All right. I love to eat. And so I love to will cook. you uh, come home? Because you're always flying. What are you gonna do? I'll How are we gonna home. work this I'll out? Come home. <laughs> for this, for yeah. you, yeah. Oh, thank you. So then we add the okay. avocado. And then you're gonna gently toss it now because you don't wanna it. smash that apple. Okay. I'm there gonna do go. this, and then how about you um, plate our, okay. our beef stew? Tell us real quick again the rundown on how you put in all the ingredients because okay. you did a couple steps. So we, yeah, first we boil the meat, and what kind of meat was it? Uh, it was a ribeye. No, boneless, it was boneless short, short rib. rib. That okay. was key. Our meat, 
and un chopped onions and celery and beef and stewed tomatoes. Stewed tomato. Yeah. Look how beautiful so here, that ooh, looks. Oh yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna just do this if you don't mind. Just for some I don't mind the at bugger all. look good. Yeah. And like then we that. after an hour boil, then yeah. we added the potatoes, uh -huh. carrots. Looks oh um, that looks good. We need nice rice. Nice tomatoes and tomato Chef, soup. Chef Napua, we need rice. Rice or poi. Poi would know. be good too. I like to eat stew with poi. Yes. Um, and so here's our beef stew. That looks awesome. And there's our ceviche. I like, like you said, the taro chips would be perfect with the ceviche. Good job. You know, um, even like uwala chips. Oh, that'd be really good. Oh, in Hilo, they have that ginger garlic uwala chips. Oh, that wala sounds chips. good too. Mm -hmm. You're making me hungry. Yeah. Can we thank mom again? You want to send a shout out? Thank for... you to my mom, yes. Carmen Hulu Lindsay of the famous Auntie Hulu's Beef Stew. <laughs> Oh, we didn't season. Okay, we go ahead. We didn't season our ceviche. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Because life is full of seasoning. Yeah. A little pa'akai. So it's pa'akai, and I use some cumin. Okay. Oh, some cumin. Cumin. Okay. <laughs> cumin works too. Hawaiian, yeah. So we ooh yeah, instead of cumin. Of course. <laughs> Pepper. Okay. And like, you know, everything is to taste. So yes. if you like it, you add more. If you don't like it so much, you don't have to add Good it. job on this. And then the last thing was the... You put fresh lime and lemon, right? Yes. How many would you put? Two? Oh, like five. Five of I them. I love okay. lime. That's okay. why. I, I love it. This looks amazing. Do you think you can play us a song before oh, you leave? Yes. All of right. Course. Look what I got for you. Oh. What a beautiful <laughs> yeah. ukulele. Mm -hmm. It sure is. Who's that? Koaloha. Nice. Thank yeah. you so much love for coming it. on the show. Thank now, I'm going to try some of this while you play us out. Yes. I'm going to do a silva, song. ladies and gentlemen. Mahalo. Kahuki Ayalo was written by Auntie Ermgard Farden Aluli and my aunt Napua Stevens for Lahaina. Kahuki Ayalo, Kaleo Pua Mana, Kahome Malahaina, Kulana Hie Hie. Ladies and gentlemen, Napua Silva. Make sure you follow her on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can get the full recipe on cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Mahalo to University of Hawaii Maui College and of course the beautiful Fairmont Keolani here on Maui. Napua, take us home. <laughs> Oh, oh.